Hello, 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 and welcome to my new video. I'm Onion with an H. So today I would like to talk about watches. You know the stuff you wear around your wrist. Something I really love, and I loved it since I was a wee lad. My first watch was a Snoopy digital watch. It was blue, and it was totally lovely. That my parents bought for me when I was like four. And today I won't be talking about smart watches like Apple watches and so on because I don't want one. Maybe another day. Anyway, when you start collecting watches, something you notice quite soon is that it's a very slippery slope, right? For instance, I was talking with a friend of mine and was ranting about benefits of having a wristwatch and so on. And I showed him a Casio at a price point of like hundred quid. First, he was like, I don't know, man. I reckon a phone is more than good enough, and it seems expensive. A few days go, and suddenly, this man sends me a picture of a humongous middle aisle at Aldi looking monstrosity. Just to throw me in mind. Little did he know that it was the beginning of a watch collecting journey for him. Now he has amassed watches worth a grand total of like a thousand quid. And get this, he began his journey in March 2023. When I asked him what led him on the path past the Aldi issued watch, I was met with a completely serious deadpan answer. Of, so I could slide on them haters, underlined by the fact that he somehow acquired another watch after being left alone for five minutes. Now he wanted to buy a Doxa. Clive Kassler, a signature model, so to speak, of an author who wrote a bunch of adventure novels at 2,700 euro. And he blurbs, sure it's expensive, and it will take some time to gather the funds, but I will buy it. Here's the thing, right? Earlier this year, he will have said, I will never, ever spend that amount of money on a watch. What do you think I am? Am I made out of gold? This illustrates perfectly well how our senses get numbed up with time. You quite often hear about some expensive watch being a good value, with air quotes. When said watch is like 5,000 quid, I mean, it's a boatload of money. Unless you are Elon Musk or something. That being said, my next big boy watch, I would like to buy an Omega watch. I'm quite sure many of you have heard of this brand like from James Bond and sponsoring Olympic Games and so on. So we already know that it won't be peanuts, despite it's from early 2000s, so over 20 years old, and it should be cheaper, but it isn't. So there are basically two different versions of this same watch, right? Only difference between the two are having a slightly different design on the dial, and that's about it. One was available everywhere, while the one I want, it was country specific release. And the movement, ending in the watch, so to speak. In the watch, it is very pedestrian to say the least. Imagine an engine in a Honda Civic, that kind of pedestrian. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth three to four times of the price of the regular one. But ma, I just love the watch. And now, something I really dislike about watch industry and collecting, aside from the price that is, those stupid brand names such as Nezumi, it means a rat in Japanese, and I really don't want to wear a rat branded watch on my wrist, unless you're into, you know, Mad Max kind of stuff. Or some brand logos like Swiss Watch Company. That logo is so hideous or Formex, it sounds like a bleach brand, if you ask me. Or when I googled the name, Scandinavian biggest exhibition in furnishing. I mean, what? And I hate it when people ask, what do you do with so many watches? You only have two arms, or how many watches do you have anyway? And I always say, well, I have to match my watch with my outfit. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know, because I don't want to know. Same answer goes with my collection of hats, caps and beanies. So now, you may be wondering 
where is he going with all this? Well, never start collecting watches. I don't know. I mean, I always make excuses such as it's better collecting watches than, say, collecting cars or body parts like a game or what have you. Well, I try to limit myself with two watches per year at least. The thing is, mm, I've ordered all the two watches that will arrive next year. And there are like three Casiogs that I would like to buy. Ah, struggle is indeed real. So what now? Maybe I should start collecting stamps or something? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Honesty, wholesomeness, onion. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Onion and I will see you in the next video.